My name's Dave, and this is my floating home. In the great outdoors, I connect with nature. Cruising through life in the slow lane, I explore, discover, and experience tranquility and peace. I'm inspired by nature. On this episode, I get gardening, planting up a colourful spring flower display, and I'm leaving the Macclesfield Canal, heading up into the rolling hills of the Peak District. A family of great crested grebes face danger. A heron is close by and he's spotted a potential meal. April showers, sunshine, all creatures great and small. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience of nature through my eyes. Living in nature's garden, I'm surrounded by an abundance of wild plants and flowers. And even though my home is only 57 foot long by 6 foot wide, I still find space to have my very own miniature garden. Not only does it bring me enjoyment, but it also provides pollen to feed our smallest creatures. It was time to replace the die back winter plants with some nice, fresh, blooming spring colour from the local garden centre, which happened to be right next to the canal. There's a large selection and variety to choose from. I'm looking for some instant colour, plants that can withstand the occasional frosty mornings, which we can still experience even in the month of May. I've selected all the plants that I need and gathered them together it's now time to get them back to the boat and get planting. Gardening is therapeutic, relaxing. In fact, for me, it's a meditation. Just out here, planting away, listening to the birds. And I come out of the busy mind. Just a few weeks later, my floating garden is a blaze of colour. No matter how small a space you have, 
you can create your own micro garden too, just like mine. Have a go. Spring, a time for growth and moving on. Setting intentions, waking up to a new dawn song. Showers of tears feed her roots, cleansing air and earth. No labels, no questions, just an instinctive knowing. In the stillness, clouds drift away. The light warms the heart, guides the way. Rhythmic ripples of passing moments shared. A time for grounding, tree and prayer. A spring clean, revealing. Nothing forgotten, just unseen. Between the space, there is no me. In this moment, I plant a seed. Watch it grow and let it be. Floating on this narrow corridor of water, each open door brings me a surprise. An abundance of God's creatures, all great and small. Symbols of love, devotion, affection, the Mandarin fills me with awe. It's that time again to move my floating home. And my friend Paolo C has joined me on board and we're cruising north along the Macclesfield Canal, heading towards the historic town of Marple. We'll continue this journey in just a few minutes. Meet the Grebe family. Proud mum and dad with their fluffy black and white striped youngsters. You'll often see the parents carrying them on the backs. These are great crested Grebes. They spend most of their life on water and diving beneath the surface hunting for food. The diet is fish and aquatic creatures. But believe it or not, 
as strange as it seems. They eat their own feathers. It helps their digestive system, gets rid of parasites. When faced with danger, they prefer to dive and hide rather than fly. The parents share the job of guarding and feeding. They dive down to a depth of around 10 to 12 feet and can stay down for a good half a minute. In the UK, there's around 4,900 breeding pairs. Worldwide, an individual population is thought to be over 1 million. But back in the 19th century, these birds nearly became extinct. Their feathers were used to decorate hats and ladies' undergarments. It's believed that the Greek population got down as low as 32 purrs. Grebes are actually predators, and there's another predator that's just turned up on the scene. The grey heron. Its diet is fish, voles, small birds and chicks. And it's spotted a potential meal. The young grebes are now left unguarded. Both parents are away diving for food and this heron is hungry. Very hungry. They sense danger. Swooping low, it heads towards them. It's time for survival mode. They dive. The heron swoops down. Lands in a nearby tree, only to be confronted by one of the angry parents. Like many birds, when they're faced with danger, the grebe fluffs up its plumage. Everyone calms down. The four youngsters have had a lucky escape. Reunited with their family, but still on guard, because that heron's still around. Well, not for long. Two of the local geese chase him off. Continuing the journey, we're now cruising through the town of Marple and approaching the canal junction at Bridge One. This is where we join the Upper Peak Forest Canal and leave the Macclesfield Canal. If we were to turn left under the bridge, it would take us down the flight of 16 locks towards Manchester. But we're going to turn right and head up the cuts and find my next mooring. The Marple Flight of Locks was built in 1805 and is one of the steepest flights in Britain. The canal that we're on, the Upper Peak Forest Canal, is actually 518 feet above sea level and is called a Contour Canal. It's one of the most scenic and picturesque canals in Britain. It's been an enjoyable and tranquil cruise. We set off in glorious sunshine, but now dark clouds dominate and it looks set to rain. So it's time to moor up and what a great place to stop and stay. Incredible views of the valley below and the distant hills of the Peak District. greeted 
surrounded by an abundance of new life. I think I'm gonna like it here. Whatever the weather, Mother Nature always has something to offer, and it's free, like the relaxing sound of the rain. This heartbeat, we are one, we are one. So fly with your wings. big thank you to Furways Garden Centre in Macclesfield for providing me with all the plants and flowers. They look amazing. And even the general manager popped out onto the towpath and took a look for himself. If you've enjoyed these moments watching my film, then please do leave a comment. I do read them all. And support me by subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the like button and the bell button for notifications. And why not join me on Patreon for extra content and early viewing of all my new episodes. You'll find me on Facebook, Instagram. I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. <laughs>